of this magnitude will only occur once in a millennium. Normally, the path taken by the water out of the reservoir is through the powerhouse turbines. The power production structures are situated on the opposite slope of the valley to the spillway. The water flows through the screen and into the intake tower. Here it enters the steel-lined penstock through which it is conducted under the dam and into the powerhouse. The penstock is approximately 250 meters long. and has an internal diameter of 6.2 meters. Under full load conditions, which is a head of 84 meters, and a flow volume of 185 cubic meters per second, the two Francis turbines in the powerhouse have a combined output of 2 times 69 megawatts. In general, whenever water power plants of the Rangdinigala type are constructed, the powerhouse has the longest construction time of any of the structures involved. For this reason, construction work on the powerhouse began as soon as possible. That is to say, well before the first steps were taken to divert the Mahaweli. After completion of the powerhouse pit, work began on the penstock, which was driven from here in an upstream direction. The drilling jumbo, which had been used to drive the two diversion tunnels, was also employed for the driving of the penstock. As the penstock cross-section was smaller, the entire tunnel could be driven in a full-face operation, which is without driving separate top, side and bottom benches. Parallel to the driving of the penstock, concreting work also commenced on the powerhouse. Here we can see the lowest point of construction. 13 meters below the water level of the Mahaweli, which flows past and directly adjacent to the powerhouse. Water inflows were constantly pumped off, however, and posed no problem. This carcass opening was subsequently housed one of the two turbine units. One year later, the formwork and force work of the huge reinforced concrete beams are executed at the powerhouse construction site. This false work has been transported from beam to beam on the previously mounted powerhouse crane rails. Whilst the reinforced concrete construction work is proceeding at the powerhouse, the penstock has already been driven to the point where it opens out into what will later be the reservoir. From here, the huge steel pipes used to line the tunnel are now lowered into it for final assembly. The area around the welding seams of the steel pipes is preheated. 